Hey everyone, how are you? My name is Alex and welcome back to The Great Outdoors. Before I get into what you can see behind me, which is quite a bit that you can see behind me, let's get into some pre-production events that occurred before the beginning of this episode. Okay, now that we have all of that out of the way, let's talk about the project board. I decided to actually do something which is like so extremely old school among YouTubers, especially Minecraft YouTubers, and make a project board. So the goals for today's episode are discuss the uses for the infused iron pickaxe. Then we're going to plan the layout for the rest of the village interiors for the houses that are already built, and do a decorative nether portal shrine. So we have a lot of things that we need to do today, and we have a lot of things we also have to talk about before we really embark on these four things. Additionally, as you can see here, I have two signs that say Suggestion 1 and Suggestion 2. The reason why these are here is because I'm relying on you guys to tell me in the comments section what you would like me to do for the next episode, which would be episode 10. And so go ahead, leave some suggestions in the comments section of things you'd like to see me do, and I will add them here in these two signs. And if I get more suggestions, I will add them down here as well. And when we come up with other ideas that are more like long term based, they'll go on here somewhere. So there we go. So the first thing that I know you guys are like all just dying for me to talk about is I have a blue foxhound. The other foxhounds are perfectly fine. I just said, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to go to a soul sand valley and I'm going to see if I can find a blue foxhound. And the reason why I have fire resistance still is because I just did that. Like I completed that quest about a half hour ago. It took a long time. Kind of. But it's okay. We did it. So anyway, let's uh, go around and take a look at some of the things that I have done around here. Because a lot has happened. Uh, first of all, there's a potato farm here now. Uh, let's see. I changed this from an anvil to a smithing table because I think that just makes more sense. And, you know, there's like trees around here. And it's very pretty and... So on and so forth. And yes, those are the villagers I just showed you guys a clip of. I built this little house right here. I don't know what kind of house I want this to be currently. I'm thinking I'm going to make it a regular house. Just like a farmhouse. Being as it's right next to a farm or a garden. Uh, additionally, there is... A border around the natural altar now. I don't know if I'm going to do any kind of decorative foliage here or just leave it clean. I think the clean look is perfectly fine. Uh, we'll see. We will see. Additionally, there's, you know, a path here and mandarin trees. Uh, I peeled back the grass here because we're going to build some houses here. Or structures, anyway. And, you know, we come over here. There's more of a path. I updated the bridge. I didn't like the way that it looked with the campfires. So I was like, I'm going to update that. 
this is all pretty much the same over here, except for this whole area is very different now. Uh, I kind of made it, I don't know, like swampy-ish? It's just, it's a wetlands or something. I'm trying to work out like what would be the best angle for you to view it from. Excuse me while I figure that out. I'm really, really happy with this. I'm really, really happy with it. I I'm glad that I added in, like, the mud blocks and things of that sort. Like, originally I didn't have them there, but then I was like, you know what? I can make these, and it's super easy because you just surround a water bucket with dirt <laughs> and you get mud blocks, which is pretty cool. There's a lot more. I did a lot of terraforming. You're going to thank me for not doing it on camera because it would have been an entire episode, and that's boring. So there's a lot more over here as well. Uh, not so much over here, I just took out all the sand and replaced it with grass. Or I should say dirt. Uh, it took a long time. And what's funny is that I actually ended up with more dirt. I don't know how that happened, but that's how it happened. So I feel like I have more dirt than what I started with, but that's okay. Uh, and it carries on all the way over here, and if we continue on... Oh look, here's the other waterfall! Which is not just a waterfall anymore, it's, it actually has style. And I like this one just a little bit more than the other one, because I feel like this one's a bit more rocky and dangerous looking, which is kind of what I'm into. So let me go into spectator mode so you can see the details a little bit better, I guess. But yeah, this took, like, most of my morning to do. Spent a long time on this. I'm very proud of it. Very, very, very proud of it. I think it's very, like, aggressive looking, which is kind of what I wanted versus, like, that's another boulder I built right there. Versus, like, this one over here that's a bit more flowy and pretty and cute, which is kind of how I intended it to look anyway. But it's still, you know, moving kind of rapid. It wouldn't be safe to fall down this thing, that's for sure. But, uh, um, yeah. I'm happy with both of them. I think they came out really cool. So I was searching for something completely different. And Armorer's Aid popped up. Infused iron ingots are for the Armorer's Aid. Now, I don't know what this does. I haven't gotten that far. But it requires Token of Terror. And I think... I have the means to make to make the token of terror. I'm not going to yeah, I do because it requires the ritual of the force. So I can make this. Um I'm not really going to embark on that in today's episode cuz I'd rather work on the village, but uh, uh that's basically something for us to work toward. So, we need to plan the layout of the village, and I'm going to be super cheap, and I'm going to use dirt to plan out the layout of the village. And if you guys don't like that, I'm sorry, but that's what I- that's how I need to do things. My goal with this is really just to kind of map out, like, where things are going to be, so I'm going to be building a lot of squares and rectangles. And I think if I come over here, I want to have a house start at about right there. Oh my god. I just had a massive sneezing fit while I was trying to plan out where these two buildings are going to go. My nose was very angry at me about something. I'm officially dubbing this historic event the sneeze apocalypse. Alright folks, anyway, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this path this way a little bit. Just a little bit. To make room for what I want to make. And I'm going to take my dirt, my handy-dandy dirt, and I'm going to go one, two, three. And then is that three and one, two, three. Boop, boop, and boop. And then I will get rid of these three. And this is going to be a house with a slightly different dimension. I think I also want to have something right here that's decorative, like a cart or something. I'm not going to build right over here yet because I have to do the portal. And instead, 
I'm going to work my way over here to this side, and we're going to get started on this area. With only one soapstone brick block to spare, I have finished the main road. This is quite the achievement. Right here, I am going to have a couple of gardens. Not farms, but gardens. And then this house right here is going to be a library. And this one right here will most likely house a Fletcher or another villager with a slightly smaller job. This building right here is going to be the cleric, and I will have a small room off to the side right here, which will be specifically for brewing. At this present time, I'm not sure exactly what this house will be, but I took away this block right here to signify where the front door will be. I'm thinking that I want to peel back the dirt here and make this a bit more pretty looking. Let's put it that way, like a bit more decorative. And I will put something kind of garden-like right here just to make it look really nice. It's a sea of dirt! And this is how it looks when the land has been peeled back. I made a design choice to lower the stone wall by one. Then I came over here to the potato farm and I removed the soapstone as well as removing most of the maple stairs from this area along here. And I also took away the soapstone that was around this big piece of land right here. The reason that I edited these areas was because I felt like it was way too much soapstone and I wanted to use it for other areas of the village. I know this area is not done looking anymore, but I do think it looks a lot better. I forgot that vertical slabs were a thing in this mod pack, so I decided that it would be a good idea to use them right here, and I am very happy with my choice. So that kind of looks ridiculous, but it's still really awesome that we're able to do it. Now that I'm over here by the nether portal and I feel like I have most of the village tidied up, it is time for me to come over here and just sort of make dimensions for what this portal shrine deal is going to look like. We'll get started on the shrine in a little while. I'm thinking that this patch of land right here would be a really cute area to build a bit of a marketplace. So there we have it, that's the area for the marketplace. I think having the vertical maple slabs and planks right there just works a little bit better with this particular layout. I think it's way nicer. When you find yourself short by two vertical slabs, the best thing that you can do is cover it up with dirt and hope that no one notices. Now that the layout of the village is complete, why don't we move on to some interiors? What I'm thinking for the portal is lining it with this magmatic stone that I found. I don't really remember where I got it from. I just know that I have it. So I'm going to go all around it like this. I think this just looks absolutely awesome. 
is I'm actually going to take away this border here of dirt and I'm going to replace it with the soapstone and hopefully I will have enough. If I don't, I'm going to be a very sad panda. I am four short and now I am one short. Moving on from that, I'm going to go along here like this. Go along here like this. Ow. That was not what I was trying to do. Normally I wouldn't like something like that, but in this case I actually like it. I think it needs something, though. Like that. That actually looks really cool. I like that. Next order of business is to simply fill this in. Excuse me, pup. Excuse me, pup. Pup. Thank you. Alright, pup, I love you very much. But right now I just kind of need you to get out of my way. Oh, look at that. I ran out. That's okay. I have, like, a ton of it back at the base, so I can go get more. It's no big deal. I just think this will kind of make it look a little bit less busy and also just make it look really cool. So, there we go. That's the base of the shrine. I quite like it. I think it's pretty neat. Um, I know it's a very large area, and that's okay. Probably, I'm probably going to add to it. But I don't quite know at this point in time what I want to add to it. But I definitely want to add to it. And we'll cross that bridge when we come there. Those will be the lanterns that you see over there. But for right now, they're torches because I don't really have the resources to build those. But they'll be the lanterns eventually. And then it'll have a much cooler vibe than the creepy candles that make it look like we're worshipping some nether demon creature. <laughs> so, um... That's actually all the time that I have for this episode. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then uh, feel free to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. Also, I wanted to touch base with you guys about the quality of the last few episodes that I've made in this weird glitchiness that the video has had. I have taken some steps to kind of fix that problem, and I think it's fixed. And it should be okay, and hopefully this episode will look good. So, here's to hoping, and if it doesn't, then I will keep working on the issue until I fix it. It doesn't seem like anybody noticed, but um, in case anybody does, I apologize for that minor little hiccup in video quality. So anyways, uh, thank you guys very much, and as always, I will see you guys next time.